we are here obviously at the Canary Hill portion of the Crater of Diamond State Park. The park has made a shade pavilion here. If you get hot in the summer sun, you can catch some shade. But I want to show you something kind of unique about this portion of the Diamond Search Field. See all these big chunks of sandstone? This is indurated sandstone, in other words, hardened sandstone. And I want to show you some of the faces of them is kind of unique. Um, Canary Hill is known for 18.76-carat uh, yellow diamond that was found here in May of 1917 by Lee Wagner. It's now in the Smithsonian. But it's also known for amethyst. And amethyst and purple quartz. And I want to show you um, kind of how or why amethyst is here. See the, the face of this sandstone? So this is a real hard block. There's big chunks of it all around. Well, if there's a crack in the sandstone, then silica and other minerals can leach down in there. Well, normally it would form quartz. And in a lot of Arkansas, it is clear and milky quartz crystal. Here at the Crater Diamond State Park, you can find amethyst, which is purple quartz. Now, why is it purple? It's because we have manganese and iron that leaches in with the silica into the cracks when, when the crystals are forming here. I want to look around and see if we can find some other that have a face like that. Um, that used to have a face here. All right. See this? This had amethyst on this. There was a crack. And depending on the size of the bug or the void, how big the crystals grew. But this is definitely amethyst on here. And uh, on this face and on this crack. Now I have found a good piece of amethyst here and I sent it to off to be faceted and made into a set of trigon uh, earrings for my wife to wear. I also found a big chunk downhill here when I was digging in the pig pen area in the summer of 78. I found a nice piece of amethyst and had it faceted and gave that to my mom because she was born in February and amethyst is February's birthstone. I want to look at this big chunk of sandstone as well because this has a face that used to have amethyst all along here. So amethyst crystals grew on this and it has since been removed. Either, uh, either they weren't very big or somebody just almost like chiseled and cleared all the amethyst off the face of that huge rock. See how it's different on the other sides? Now, this is a great big old heavy piece of indurated sandstone, but it was pushed here by the bulldozer. But anyway, that's an amethyst faced on this side. And you can see a lot of this sandstone here on Canary Hill as we pan around. And all that is real primed for finding amethyst in that area, as well as there's diamonds in there. Um, the diamonds don't have anything to do with the sandstone. <laughs> The layer of sandstone was here real deep. They used to call it a jack fork sandstone. And when the volcano brought the diamonds to the surface, it broke through that layer of sandstone and cooked it, superheated it, and hardened it uh, into this sandstone that we now have on the surface. And uh, the park has pushed big pieces of this around. Uh, when I was here in 78, they bulldozed some chunks over here and pushed it right off the edge of the search territory and they're still there. They're big as a bulldozer almost. So anyway, a uh, good place to look for amethyst or purple quartz. And I surface searched it this morning, didn't find any. Uh, when it rains again, maybe it'll wash silt away and, and leave other amethyst exposed to the surface. But uh, I also looked for diamonds as well and didn't find any, but I'm gonna continue my search in other parts of the park now.